Hello, fifth year. How are you today? Well, today I hope you are happy. I'm fine. Well, today is Thursday, the 6th of August, and it's a very sunny, windy, and hot day. Well, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to check, yes, we are going to check pages, um, let me see, 55, 56, 57, 62, 63, 71, and 70 from the short story, you know, the exercises, yes, they are. Then we are going to check uh, pages from the exam, page from the exam, my 59. Uh, remember today, you have to, students must, Handing, handing, composition number uh, 16 from the list. Is it clear? Plus, uh, you have to handing, brainstorming, brainstorming, and video three minutes from chapters. 8, 9, and 10. 8, 9, and 10 from uh, the sign of 4. Yeah? Okay? So all this homework must be there. And we are going to check these pages and this page. Okay? Is it clear? And then we are going to go to revision. Revision on units um, 7, 8, and 9. Yes? And you have two documents, two files, one of grammar, yes, and another of writing, where you will write a report, yes, okay, is it clear? Good. So let's go very quickly to page 59 from the exam, Maisy Maisa. Number one, exercises one and two, okay, what? Well, uh, number one, insects, meat, and rice. Number two, one, how, two, with, come up with, three, them, yes, three, them, a few of them, four, if, or go, five, in, six, of, seven, that, eight, been, okay? No, 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 no. I have already corrected this. Uh, it was the other from the part of writing. Yes, okay, good. I go. Aim, number two. Number, number three, set. Number four, although. This part, because this part I have already corrected last class. But then you have number one and number two and not exercise three because this is what you are going to do today in the revision. Is it clear? So my mistake. Uh, one aim to number three set four or go five expected six percent seven appears and eight worse. Number two, it might be worse eight. Two, the aim of this report is one. Three, it appears from the results seven. Four, a large number two. Five, most students said that three and six fewer students. Uh, than expected, number five. So from this part, is all. Let's go to the sign of four, pages um, 56, 57, 59, 62, 63, and 70 and 71. Let's go first to 56, 56, 56. Oh my God! Do you remember this? We had this in the old, in the previous academy, in the other address. You know, Baker Street. Yes, this is very a very famous street. Yes, and everybody who has read uh, a story from Sherlock Holmes we know that Baker Street is very important. Yes, okay. Well, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pam, pam, pam. There we 
we go. All right. So we have the reading check. Number one, yes, we have B, yes. Is Mr. Sherlock Holmes here? C, perhaps you'd like a glass of whiskey. Do you have a revolver? C, yes, okay. What do you say? Complete the sentences, okay? D, are you all right? E, perhaps you'd like a glass of whiskey. F, your friend Mr. Holmes. Holmes is a wonderful man. Two. Yes. Two. A. Two. B. Four. C. Five. D. One. E. Six. F. Three. Yes. Okay. And then you have the word work. Yes. Okay. Two. B. Wig. Peluca. Well, you have there, oh my God, this is the Buckingham Palace. Yes, okay, isn't it? Okay, B, wig, C, give up, D, repairs, E, remind, F, whiskey, G, certain, H, tower, I, crew. Okay, and then you have the guess what? Yes, okay. The police lounge chases the Aurora down the river and C, Holmes and Watson shoot Jonathan Small's associate. Yes, okay. So let's go to page 62 and 63. 62 and 63. Reading. B, true. C, false. D, true. E, false. F, true. G, false, yes, because Holmes offers Jonathan Small a whiskey and a cigarette. H, false, yes, she was very calm and not, tra not troubled. Yes, Word, words work. B, fire, C, furious, D, race, race, E, speed, F, companion. Guess what? Number A, one. B, three. C, two. Holmes invites Small to tell his story. D, two. Small says he lost his leg when he has attacked, he was attacked by a crocodile. E, three. Yes. Uh, Watson, Watson tells Holmes that he's going to marry Miss Mortson. Yes, okay, well, he fell in love. Well, so let's go to the other page, the last one, 70 and 72, 70 and 71, okay, 70 and 71, there we are, wait a minute, reading A3, B1, C6, D2, E4, F5, G9, H8, I7. Number two, A. Mahomet Sain, Abdullah Khan, Dos Akva, Jonathan Small. These were the four. B. For the murder of Ahmed for life. C. Major Shoto and Captain Mortz. Mortz. Tan. Yes. Morta. D. Playing cards. E. Two maps at the Agra Fort. F. Ma Major Shoto. And G. With the help of Tonga. Yes, okay, and then you have the words there. Merchant, financial, jewel, guilty, defense, rebels, 
distinguished. Yes, be distinguished. B, distinguished. C, rebels. D, jewels. E, guilty. F, financial. All these words are in the crossword. G, trick. H, cousins. I, plank. J, gate. K, defend. I, merchant. Okay, well, that was all. Yes, from here. Let me check. Yes, it was clang. I was checking if it was a schwa, the sound of the schwa. Okay, well, shall we go to the... Um, Provision. Yes, okay. There we are. All right. Wait a minute. Please concentrate when you do this revision because it's very important because it's from unit 7, 8 and 9. You know this year you have each, uh, you have three um, units in the revision, okay? Is it clear? Good. Please concentrate. So, I will clean the board. Right, so complete the sentences with the future, with the future, with the future perfect, simple, or future continued form of the verb in verbs in brackets. So you have future perfect simple of future continuous. Is it clear? Yes, all right. So, you have, I will have studied, and then the continuous, I will have been studying. Is it clear? Yeah? So, pay attention. Of course, you have already studied. Yes? All right. Then... In exercise two, you have to complete the sentences with the words in the box. Yes, is it clear? In case you can't see, I try to make it better. ¿Por qué ya les paso eh, eh, ya esto en PDF? Para evitar que me manden en un formato que no es, para evitar la, que me manden en algo que no esté totalmente claro. En el caso de que no vean bien, se van a las páginas del book. ¿Está? ¿Es clear? Because these are pages from the class book. Yes. These are pages 99. Yes. 100, 101. Yes. 
And yes, okay, these are the pages, okay? And here is software, yes, software, yes, okay? So look and pay attention. Okay, there we go. So, pay attention in exercise three. Match the sentences from one to six with the endings. If it is, re it is really difficult to and read the sentences. Complete the second sentences, sentence using reported speech. Have you met Seb, Emma? Ask Sandra. Sandra asked Emma if she está en present perfect, pasa past, past perfect. If she had seen Seb. Is it clear? Muy fácil con lo que se practicó, eh? Exercise 5. Put the reported sentences into indirect speech. Direct, perdón. Acá sí. Ya ponemos el directo. Susie's father está en estilo indirecto, tenemos que poner el directo. Atención. Susie's father said he had to be home before midnight. Y me da comilla para que yo ponga lo que dijo el papá de Susie. Está en pasado perfecto. Yes, had to. You have, el have, perdón, el modal. You have to be home Before midnight. Yes, ok. Entonces, eso es lo que dijo el papá de Susan. Atención, primero identifico la frase que es la que dice la persona. Second, identify the tense. Identificas el tense. Ok, está en pasado. Yes, entonces, ¿en qué tenía que estar? Si lo de pasado pasa a presente, en presente. Hacemos. Yes, ok. ¿Es it clear? Yes, for example, uh, I told him, well, mom said that she had been angry for pa, pa, pa. Bueno, ¿qué dijo mamá entre comillas? She had been angry, ¿ok? Entonces está en pasado perfecto, antes de pasar a pasado perfecto, ¿en qué tiempo estuvo? En present perfect. I have been angry for several days, ¿ok? Yo he estado, entonces mamá que dijo que ella había estado enojada. ¿Es it clear? Yes, ok. Atención, por eso es que a veces hacen... El, uh, la revision sin mirar las instrucciones que yo hago y se pierde la posibilidad de hacerlo bien. Yeah? Ok, exercise 6, complete the sentences with the words in the box, add prefixes and suffixes. Ok, so, I'm happy, yeah, sería un prefijo, happiness sería un sufijo. Entonces, me fijo. ¿Qué es lo que tengo que ver acá? Recuerden, el que no ve muy bien se va y mira. Yo traté de hacerlo lo más uh, claro posible, ¿está? Pero es el mismo que está en la página 99, 100, 101. ¿Es clear? Y de esa manera evito que me manden en un formato que no es PDF, borroso, porque me cuesta ver, ¿sí? Para que lo ¿ok? Bueno, atención. Entonces, ¿entiende? Honest, dishonest, yes, Entonces, o un prefix o un suffix, the according to the sentence. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Primero, leer la frase, yes. Uh, seven, complete the sentences with the first and second conditional. Wow, super fácil. First conditional, yes, if, um, if past would infinitive. Second conditional, if past perfect. If pass plus would plus infinitive, that is number uh, one. Number two, if plus, yes, 
Oh no, you got number first conditional. Yes, okay. If plus present plus will, and then you have conditional two. If plus pass pass plus would plus infinity. Acordate que esto siempre va en bloque. El if close puede estar adelante o de la otra parte de la oración. Entonces, no me importa si está acá o acá. Siempre se mueve en bloque. Atención, ¿eh? Is it clear? Right. Esto te lo vengo diciendo desde que expliqué conditional. Pero no está de más, de más repetir. ¿Ok? Um, then you have exercise 8. The last one, complete um, the sentences with words and expression from the box. Yes? Ah, perdón, 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 me fui a siete, acá. Okay. Complete with the sentence with the, pa, 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 me voy al ocho primero. Ocho, complete the text, tenemos un texto, yes, with the word that fits each gap. Use only one word in each gap. Una palabra, ok. Entonces, atención, mirar si es que justo esa parte no se ve muy bien en el book, ¿está? Yes, ok, good. One word in each gap, is it clear? Ok, 7, complete the sentence with the first and second, ya está. 8, 9, complete the second sentence with, between, 2 and 5 words, yes, ok. Start ending, yes, with the word given, yes, ok. Including, including the word given, so that it has the similar meaning to the first one, ok. Lo mismo, tenemos la palabra negrita, hay un ejemplo que está hecho y tengo que decir lo mismo que digo arriba, pero usando esa frase. Atención, pay attention, entre two y five words. ¿Está? Yes. Incluida la palabra que ya nos da. Y en el último punto, choose the correct option to complete the email. ¿Is it clear? Yes. Ok. And then... We are going to go here. You have done a survey of the students in your class and your college to find out, yes, what students use their mobile for their mobile phones for. Yes, okay? To find out what students Use their mobile phone for. ¿Para qué usan su celular? Okay. This survey is about that. Write a report for the college magazine about the results. Hiciste ya el informe y ahora tenés que presentar qué resultado dio sobre ese survey. Yes, ok, ¿qué hiciste? Tenés que hacer ese informe. Yes, sobre esa investigación que hiciste. Ok, so, 150 words. Um, must words must be underlined, the aim, to sum up, I must say, in conclusion, generally speaking, I would recommend. Por lo que estuve corrigiendo, que tuvieron muy buenos resultados, este report va a estar excelente. Acordate de reports, ¿ok? Título, copete, mm, to give a title, uh, to, to give a title to your report. Then, en el copete, the purpose of this report is to, y presentar la idea de lo que se va a tratar este report. Subheadings, subtítulos, which each of the topics you will talk about. No puedo poner algo que yo no haya presentado arriba en la introduction. Yes. Formal language. And at the end, your recommendation, because you can't recommend there. Yes, in your conclusion. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Well, happy weekend. This is for tomorrow, yes, okay, and um, good luck. See you, bye-bye.